Hey, where's everybody going? Why is nobody responding to me? After all, I'm the cool suit hippo parrot guy. Hey, welcome to our scene on pseudo hypoparathyroidism, represented by this guy over here in the suit. But he's half hippo, half parrot. Suit guy, hippo parrot, for pseudo hypoparathyroidism. So, pseudo hypoparathyroidism is a condition which resembles hypoparathyroidism. And let's talk about it. So, in hypoparathyroidism, PTH levels will be low. However, in pseudo hypoparathyroidism, PTH levels won't be low, they'll be elevated. Look behind this guy. The PTH is elevated. The problem, however, is that there's no response to it. The kidney and bones are not responding to it. And that's why in this scene, the kidney and the bone guy are running away and they're ignoring this guy. They're not responding to him. This helps us remember that in pseudo hypoparathyroidism, the kidney and the bones are not responding to parathyroid hormone. And therefore, in this condition, the patient will show symptoms similar to those seen in hypoparathyroidism. For example, tetany and numbness. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the pathophysiology. We see over here against the wall, there's this domino. This domino shows up in our scene in diseases that are inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. This helps us remember that pseudohypoparathyroidism is inherited in autosomal dominant fashion. At least the one that we're discussing, 1A. And what happens is the GNAS1 inactivated mutation represented by the genes over here with the gun. Genes with the gun for gene S1. The gene S1 inactivating mutation coupled to the PTH receptor that encodes the GS protein alpha subunit. And this leads to an inactivation of adenylate cyclase when PTH binds to its receptor. And this is what leads to the end organ resistance to PTH. So again, lab values will show an increase in PTH, parathyroid hormone, and there's going to be a hypocalcemia represented by this cheese on the floor. Cheese in our videos represents calcium because cheese is high in calcium and it's on the floor because it's low. There's going to be a hypocalcemia because again, parathyroid hormone is the increase in calcium. So if parathyroid hormone is not being responded to, calcium will remain low. And the fossils up here representing phosphate will be high because parathyroid hormone is also important for getting phosphate out of the body. So if parathyroid hormone is not being responded to, phosphate will remain high. There's one clinical feature which we want to highlight in the scene over here. Take a look at this suit hippo parrot's fingers. Take a look at his fourth and fifth digits. You'll notice that they're short. They're shorter than the second and third. This is a finding known as Albright hereditary osteodystrophy that's associated with pseudo hypoparathyroidism. Other features of this condition include short stature, round face, subcutaneous calcifications, and developmental delay. Well, developmental delay, you can remember, because this hippo parrot suit guy, as you could tell, wasn't so smart. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on pseudo hypoparathyroidism. Stay tuned for our next video, subscribe to the channel, and take care.